All right, guys, it's Courtney. I'm out here in the Alpharetta, Georgia area. Today is April the 22nd. Uh, my first and only job of the day, I went and did an estimate this morning that went really well. I also had another estimate that came in from last week, booked this week. SCOBY is also on a job in Cummings, a wax removal screen and recoat. What I'm going to be doing here, this is Mrs. Collins, Mr. M Mr. and Mrs. Collins. I came out here about three weeks ago. I gave them an estimate. They booked on the spot for today. Also, shout out to Honest Me and Movers. They came out this morning and moved the furniture for the Collins um, because, again, with screen and recoat, all the furniture has to be moved out so they just put it in the garage so what i'm going to be doing here today guys is 1000 see they put all the furniture in the garage so i'm going to be doing 1873 square feet of uh, pine floors, screening the floors down. As you can see, in most cases, when people can tell something is wrong with the floors, uh, you start to see a lot of scuff marks uh, in the floors. Also, you start to see a lot of uh, wear areas in the floor. And this is when the clients know it's time for a screen or recode. This is, you know, also they left the payment here in the kitchen on the kitchen counter for me. Uh, so this is what I'm gonna be doing, guys. It's the living room. You just saw the family room, or this can be the, considered the family room. Uh, pretty, pretty nice size house. And again, these are pine floors. Uh, this area right here, uh, around the island in the kitchen. This area right here, dining room. Um, that's the office right there, the foyer. Um, in this hallway, in this small bathroom. They're also going with a satin finish, so I'm gonna be putting a satin finish on this floor. And yeah, guys, so this so far I got 11 estimates, including the one I did this morning. So I got 10 more estimates this week, and you know, it'll probably end up doing 15 to 16 estimates this week, and we are booked solid uh, for this week going into next week. All right, guys, I'm gonna get started. Stay tuned. All right, guys, the screening is coming out well. Let me show you something. Um, you see right here, you don't see a lot of uh, polyurethane breaking down, especially right here. But you see over here, you see a lot, okay? So this is another, now this is not a lot, but this is more than this area right here. And I did screen this area. And the reason why, these are really busy high traffic areas right here. People go to the refrigerator, the sink. So the polyurethane wears off faster in the high traffic areas, like right here, than over these areas where it doesn't get a lot of traffic. So remember, that is the purpose of the polyurethane is to protect and seal the floors. But when over time, it's going to wear off. Like this job that I'm doing today and any other jobs, eventually that polyurethane is going to wear off and it's going to need to be done again. So this is not a one-time thing. This is an investment. You're investing in um, saving your floors, keeping your floors protected. Um, so that way, some of the videos and some of the jobs that I see, I turn down a lot of jobs. You guys would be surprised how many jobs I have to turn down because the floors are just so neglected, there's nothing that we can do. Uh, even sometimes sanding won't save them. You have to replace them. So this is a perfect example of keeping your floors um, um, maintained, okay? So you don't, so you don't have prolonged the issue and make the issue worse uh, than it should be, all right? All right, guys, <clears throat> stay tuned. All right, guys, as you can see, I got these floors screened, cleaned, attacked. You can see all those scuff marks 
or knocked off the floor. Now, one thing about pine floors, it's a very soft floor. So a lot of times you're gonna see like indentions, not scratches, but indentions, because it's a really soft floor, um, especially when you have dogs. But since we wanna go with a satin finish, it's gonna kind of uh, hide those reflections in the wood. Um, so that's the only thing about certain floors. If they're softer, um, they will create a lot of indentions, especially from dog scratches. So they're not scratches, they're just indentions where it just indents the wood because it is soft. So anyway, guys, I'm about to start. Got a fresh roller, fresh T-bar. So I'm about to start rolling my first coat. Floors came out looking really, really good. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, I got their first coat going down and I can just already tell you, man, these floors are just gonna look so much better. They already just look like so refreshing. <laughs> Uh, you know, but yeah, you just be surprised uh, what a good screen or recoat can do. Man, these floors look so, it's gonna look so, so good. Client's gonna be very happy. Like I said, man, we get so much good feedback. Uh, we get so much good feedback from this service because uh, we save a lot of people money. Like I went to uh, Montgomery, not Montgomery, uh, Huntsville uh, this weekend. The guy wrote me a great review this morning. So it feels good, man, when clients write, write us some good feedback. Um, but another thing I've noticed is our referrals are going up crazy uh, for the wood floor services. I went and did an estimate this morning in um, like the uh, Sandy Springs uh, area. And that's what she said. She was referred to me. So the referrals are going crazy. And thank you, everybody who refer our services to your neighbors and friends and coworkers. Uh, actually, I booked a job for Scobie today, uh, for Saturday. Um, the guy, uh, we did his fiance's house um, earlier this week and uh, he booked for a uh, screen and recoat for Saturday. So yeah, man, it's going good. And um, all right, guys, let me get back to rolling. It's actually my favorite part. I love rolling polyurethane. Man, I, I'm happy I brought enough because <laughs> I brought six gallons and I think that's what I'm going to end up using on this floor. Three gallons for each coat. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Matter of fact, let me go prep that third gallon so it can be ready. All right, guys, I just got off the phone with the uh, with the homeowner, telling her how great the floors came out. As you can see, this is just the first coat. Uh, it was raining a little bit, so the humid sometimes causes the uh, finish to um, slow down the drying process, but that's fine, guys. We get paid really well for what we do, so we don't rush our job. So you can see these floors came out really good. Nice pound floor, so I got my uh, poly uh, ready for the second coat. Beautiful, man. Came out really, really good. This is a satin finish. She said she did not want her floor shiny. 
Again, 75, 85% of our clients um, go with satin finish. Most people are pet uh, owners, they have pets, so satin is really good for people who have pets. And that second coat uh, is going to look even, even better. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it. And I'm going to get ready to put this second coat down. And then after this, I got to go do my last estimate. I've had, I've booked like four estimates um, since I've been here. Um, so, oh man, all I can say, guys, is just, um, it's a blessing. All right, that's going to do it. Thanks again, guys, for watching. All right, see you in the next one.